Hi there, everybody. How y'all doing today? Well, I got a piece of mail, and I want to share with you what it is. So, let's go have a look. Some of you may remember in one of my last videos where I was saying my old lawnmower needed a new seat. Has anybody got one? Well, a kind gentleman, Junkstar Builds, spoke up and answered the call. And this is what he sent me. Oh, look at this. Oh, just look at it. Isn't that swell? Huh? Huh? Isn't that a beauty compared to that? Oh, look at that thing. The dogs that got up there and chewed on it when it started cracking. I don't know what they were thinking, but they did. And it's just awful. And this thing is sweet. Yeah, look at that. It does have a couple little cracks on it. And I've been toying with different ideas as to how to patch them so they don't get water in there. And I'm thinking maybe just a thin coat of silicone to uh, cover them up. They're real minor and it's not a big deal. And uh, yes, thank you so much, Junkstar. Uh, Junkstar Builds on YouTube, go check him out. He's awesome, he does a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna be sending him a couple of my stickers. And he can put around his shop somewhere on his helmet or on his welder or whatever he wants to do on his toolbox, whatever he, on his refrigerator, on his kids' lunchbox. This whatever he wants to do, <laughs> you know. Anyway, send him a couple of those. Uh, just want to say thank you. You the man. I really appreciate you. And uh, there is a little bit of differences. This one has got a slider, back and forth type mechanism. I don't know how well that's going to show up. Hey, that's pretty clear. You can see that. It speaks for itself. It slides back and forth. Uh, the one on here now does not do that. Here's the one that's on there now. And uh, I'm thinking that I may just be able to unbolt these at the base down underneath the fender and bolt the new one on, and it may just work just fine and if it looks like it's not going to work out just fine I can unbolt it on these four bolts and just bolt a new seat to this plate but if that slider thing works I'd like to utilize it so I'm going to check into it and see what happens so bear with me a little bit and I'll see what I can figure out and I'll get back with you and show you how this turned out while we're talking lawnmowers, look around at this. Oh my, what happened? Did somebody actually weed eat? Run the weed eater along the fence line? Oh my, they did, didn't they? <laughs> I went around the whole house with some pruning shears and the weed eater and gave this place a crew cut the other day. I got up underneath the canoe. I only do that once in a while. I'm not a big fan of the weed eater. It's just, uh, makes my hands numb. Gotta hold it. You know what I mean? Can't ride it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I'll see you guys a little bit. Well, that worked out just slick as could be. Let me show you something. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Both are right on there. The dogs are going crazy. And look at this also. You see that? Huh? What is that? That's an actual MTD part, which this is an MTD mower. Nah, you just couldn't get any better than that. This is great. Uh, the slider works nice. 
There's a number for you if you ever need any parts or help, fellas. And, uh, yeah. Let me get back out here so you can see a little bit. But, yeah, it works. And it hooked up easy. There was a little spring-loaded contraption on here to... to make it have resistance, I guess, for some reason. I don't know why you'd want resistance. But anyway. Slide forward, slide back. It'll be smoother when I am sitting on it. You can use my legs. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's have a look from the front. There's the uh, parts I took off of this. And I didn't have to take the fender off or anything. I just bolted it right to the brackets that were already on there. Here's that little spring loaded hinge thing I was telling you about. This was a spring, which I don't see any need for it. So I'll clean it off. I like to run them bare bones when possible. But look at that. Oh, wow, huh? That is sweet. One of these days I'm going to get the actual, find a piece, piece of steel and make a plate to cover all that. That contraption, the pulleys, the springs, the gear knobs, and all that crap. I kind of like it being open though, because uh, I can see my belts and everything, and uh, it's just easy access. But it would be nice if that was covered up. It'd probably be better for it too. But at any rate, so yes, very pleased. Very pleased. So let's give it the old test. Got this chicken off of there. If it comes up far enough, maybe I can get the little woman to mow a little bit. <laughs> she always had trouble getting the brake clutch thing pushed down. Now she can scoot right up on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Hey guys. These stickers were compliments of SCH Design also known as Steiny72 on your favorite YouTube channels and uh if you want your logo turned into a sticker that you can use and give away and sell or whatever, go to schdesigns.com. And uh, I'm not sure that that's exactly right. I'll post his link in the description or maybe put an annotation right here with a link to his website, at least to his YouTube channel and then the website link in the description and uh yeah hook up with him and he can fix you up man this guy is awesome he does cool work and uh yeah just want to throw that in there as well don't want him to feel left out or forgot plus he needs promoted so go check him out and uh give him a shout man he will fix you up all right all right cool look how ate up with cancer this old seat is Gone, man. That metal is gone. Look at that. See it? That thing's not worth, not worth nothing. Anybody need an old seat? <laughs> yeah. I just want to give you a better shot of just how decrepit this thing was. Once I got that base plate, I screwed off there just because it was good. It's the only part good left on it. Look at that. The One of the bolt nut things sheared right out of that. Oh, it's just terrible. Oh, it was bad. Look at that. Look 
you know, ate up that is. Just everywhere, all the way around. Up here is good. But everything down in the bottom where water got up in, the, in there through those cracks in the upholstery. And it just sat there and ate it. Ate it. Just sat there and ate it. This part right here is good though. It might make some good metal from there up to here for something. Don't know what. But you never know. A good piece of metal is hard to find sometimes. Alright. Did you see what I was doing? From here on the sides looks good too. All up in here is good metal. But all this down here in the base pan is corroded beyond use for anything. Okay. Well, you never know when you're going to need a good piece of metal. So I may have to uh, throw that up in the, in the storage locker that I call a shop. And uh, save that for a rainy day. Alright. So the seat had a couple little cracks in it and I wanted to do something with it. So I got in the garage and I found this acrylic latex caulk plus silicone. And it's the same stuff I used in my bathroom when I put that new sink in there. Which I didn't make a video of that. But anyway. Um, it comes out white. And it dries clear. And I put that in there. And I just wasn't completely satisfied that that was going to do the trick. And I kept packing it in there. And you see it's still pliable. And I'm just going to myself, ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, we had to go over to the market and get a few things. And while we were out, I stopped at the auto parts store. And I got this little thing of black rubber sealant. It uh, dries completely within 24 hours. It's tough, durable, waterproof, shock resistant, temperature resistant. And it's black. So... The silicone's in there and it filled up any little gaps. This should smooth right over the top and maybe with a coat or two should seal that to where no water gets into it. That's the only two little cracks I found on that seat. So I think once I do that, I will be good to go. Looks like it might have been yellow. I see bits of yellow sticking out of it, but I don't care about that. <laughs> I love it, man. That's awesome. So I'm going to put this on there, and uh, I'll show you afterward what it looks like. Hopefully it won't be yucky. Wow. That only took a moment. And I believe that's going to work, man. It does. It actually comes out just like rubber. Now, I touched it and tried to smooth it out. Of course, that made it look textured and yucky. So I put another one on top of it, just tried to let it flow naturally i think i'm gonna let that sit there and dry for a day and maybe go over it one more little time uh just i just don't want any water getting in there you know that's what ruined the old one but it says on that thing to not get it on your skin or you gotta use acetone and uh like that orange hand cleaner to get the to get it off it must be pretty good and it already feels i was using a rubber glove to smooth it out. There's my rubber glove. And uh, it feels rubbery. <laughs> so it should be great. Very pleased, very pleased. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, Junkstar. I appreciate you, man. That is completely awesome. Uh, you really did me right on that, and I really appreciate it, man. Uh, for all you guys don't know, youtube.com slash user slash junkstar builds go check him out he's got some cool stuff he's a cool dude and i'm sure he'd appreciate you popping in and checking out his channel most of you guys probably already know who he is um i got some stickers coming for you buddy thanks and uh that is just rocking so yeah all right see y'all later thanks for watching and We'll see you in the next video.